Hi everyone, welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa and I'm so glad you're joining me for this uh, free live paint event that we do uh, almost every week. Um, this week we are doing a paint from photo event. Uh, this photo was taken by Michael Lyons for Michael Lyons Photography. Definitely check him out. Um, he uh, is someone I use for most of my paint parties when I do a paint from photo. His pictures are always very inspiring to me. Um, and I love to uh, recapture them and uh, do our own spin on them with acrylics. So this week is no different. So we have this really beautiful, that light for a second. So a really beautiful image here. Um, it's called Dusk at the Cottage. And we're going to be recreating this um, in acrylics today. So I'll walk you through it step by step. I don't want you to be freaked out by how much detail is in this picture. Um, we are not going to try to make it look exactly like this. We are going to capture the essence of what the picture is. So I want to get some nice colors in the sky going. I want that tree to look really pretty. We're going to have a lot of fun with the background. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly accurate to what the image is. However, if you really like to make it very specific and you want it to be very detailed, you can definitely do that. If you haven't joined me before, or if you have, it's a little refresher. Um, but the way um, I do the paint parties is we do them as if it was like a book club. So this is the book that we are all reading together um, and we can interpret it in any which way that each of us wants to. So you can take it in any which way that you would like. You can um, change up the colors, change up any of the aspects if you want to. Um, if you are a beginner or new and you want to follow along, please do so. And I'll just walk you through step by step on how I'll be doing it. Just because I'm saying how I'm doing it does not mean that is the best or the right way to do it. Um, that's just the way I like to go about uh, painting. So if you enjoy my style and you like the approach, there are many other videos available on my Facebook page. You can check out other ones and also my YouTube channel. I just cross post them there as well. Um, and they're there for your viewing pleasure. So um, we're going to get started in just a little bit. Just going to give it another couple of minutes in case anyone else wants to join us live while we paint here. Um, for this particular um, painting, I'm going to be using um, a canvas that's 12 by 16 um, as a stretched canvas that I got like Dollarama for a couple dollars. Most of my supplies are quite cost effective, so I don't go too crazy on them. Most of my paint is from Dollarama as well. So I do use two different types of paint. Um, again, just because um, now that I have it available is what I use. Um, I use Deco Art, which is a crafter's acrylic, which dries with like a matte finish. Um, and if you have yellow, red, blue, black, and white, we can paint any painting we need um, or anything you want because you have those basic colors and I'll talk through. Of course, if you have like a pre-mixed green or if you're orange, that's always great too. Um, and then I also use this one called Artist's Loft. Um, and this one um, is just called white and all our colors are pretty much white, red, blue. They don't have any other fancy names to them. And this dries with a bit of um, like a shine to it. Um, and also I use usually less paint of this when I use it. It does have a better spread. Um, and I got those from Michaels. Um, I also have paper towel. Um, I have my palette. Um, I have two containers of water and I have paint brushes. So I recommend having at least three sizes of brushes, a large, a medium, and a fine. Um, and for this one as well. So I have a large, a medium, and fine. I have a few other ones as well. Um, my large brush is a size 10, um, my medium is a size 2, and my fine point is a size 4, but it's rounded as a, a fine tip. So those are the ones that I use predominantly. However, I have a few other ones that I, I like to use as well. Um, but again, if you have variety, then you can go ahead and um, do that, whatever you feel comfortable using. Um, and we will get started in just a little bit. All right. So hi, everyone. Yeah, as you're jumping in, please let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, there's comments there, so I will be watching the comments. If you have any questions as we go through, I'll, I'll pay attention and I'll uh, make sure to answer them as soon as I can. If, however, I'm in the process and you see a comment pop up and you have an answer or you have something that you can help, feel free to do so. Um, hi, Mary. I'm glad that you're here. Yay. I'm doing well. Thank you. So yeah, so we, um, our family actually had a little trip this weekend to Montreal and that was really nice. We had a really good time. 
uh, walked all over the city, which was beautiful. So if anyone ever gets a chance to go to Montreal, I strongly recommend it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and there's so many events. And from my understanding, um, having a lot of events is pretty frequent. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> like, so you can do a lot of things um, that cost almost little to no money because everything's like available, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> So I'd strongly recommend um, checking it out. Um, I did get some pictures as well. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be ones that I'm going to want to recreate, but I'm, we'll see if something comes up in the future in a bit. Um, next week, we'll have another paint party as well on Thursday. Um, however, for the last two Thursdays in August, I won't be doing um, a paint session live. Um, I actually have um, a, an in-person session that's happening on the 18th, Thursday the 18th. Um, and uh, the week after I'm taking a break uh, for uh, family reasons. So um, just to give you all a heads up um, and then we'll resume in September and I'll put up um, the event dates once I have those. So we have that all ready to go. Okay, cool. So um, before we start, if you enjoy painting parties, again, this is all free. You can check out my website and if you'd like me to host an event for you, your friends or business or whatever, um, you can take a look and see what's going on there. The website is just in the comments, lisa'spaintingparties.com. And if you'd like to leave me a tip, there's a link, the Buy Me A Coffee link. If you'd like, not, you do not have to at all, but if you'd like to, you can go ahead and do it there. Um, and I think that is the spiels for tonight, and then we'll get into this. So let me see if there's any other things I need to pay attention to from Facebook. Okay, no, we're good so far. Awesome. Okay, great. Make sure you have something to drink. This will take us, I'm thinking it's going to be about two hours, as our usual sessions do take, um, and we're going to get started. So um, whenever I uh, do a paint from photo or a paint from reference, um, I talk through certain steps in my head um, before I actually start. So for this particular image, I always start with all my paintings is I start whatever's in, whatever's furthest in the background is what I do and I layer from there. So the first thing that we're going to work on is the sky and a few things that I notice um, and I feel like it's almost an element of the um, like maybe a filter or some kind of after effect that perhaps the photographer, photographer used on the image um, but there is it's slightly like lighter around the tree like this tree in particular it has a bit of a glow and I do want to capture that a bit so I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm painting the sky because normally I'll just do like a pretty um even kind of gradient for the sky but I, I do want to make it a little bit lighter in this area so I have to consider how I want to to do that um so I'm noticing that it's a lot like almost like a white like a light white almost or light 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 blue maybe um, in this area and then it gets um, it has like that darker gray blue color and then it goes into this yellow and then a bit of orange and then pink so we're gonna have some fun with that I also look and I see that my sky is about it's a little bit less than halfway but I might just bring it down to halfway you want to bring your sky lower than wherever your horizon line is so that when we put in all of these bushy trees and whatnot it will cover it and it will look really nice um, and that would be the next step once we do the sky. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the reference image available for you to see, and I'll move the camera so you can see it as we're going. Okay, let's see how it goes here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have a glare. I move that over a bit. I still want the light. It's very dark today. <clears throat> it was supposed to rain for like 24 hours and it didn't. It just had this like dreary feeling and it was really, really dark earlier today. When I was setting everything up, <clears throat> I was like, oh, I hope it's going to be bright enough with the <laughs> lights that I have. Okay. With the background, so I want to have a couple of colors on my palette. Um, I am going to grab my white. My white is going to be what I use quite a bit. White is my friend in the painting world. So, and I'll show you how much I'm putting on my palette in just a moment once I pop on the colors there. I'm going to get a little bit of blue. Um, and I want, I think I want this yellow. I'm going to use the bright yellow from Deco Art. 
get that going. And then we want some red so we can make that orangey. And we also want it for that pink kind of section there. And then I'm going to also, I'm going to get a little bit of black as well. We do want it to have a bit of a gray tint, but we only need a little bit of black. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. So on my palette, quite a bit of white, a little, little bit of black, and then as you see, a moderate portion of each of the other ones. Okay, all right, so let us start. So I'm going to start with the, just to get some paint on the canvas to start, and I'm going to use my white paint to do so. I'm going to load up my big number 10 brush and I'm going to start applying white paint onto the canvas. The reason why I do this is because I do pretty much all of my paint mixing right on the canvas. So I want to start with a white because I want everything to be lighter than the blue or the black that I have on my palette. So when I start with white, it's going to give me a base. I'm going to work fairly quickly because I do not want this paint to dry before I start adding other colors into it. Okay, I do want it to be wet, so I'm going fairly quickly and I'm trying to get the sides of the canvas as well because I tend to forget to do the sides of the canvas. I was, I've been using um, canvas boards a lot. And I think by doing that, I, I got out of my habit of painting the sides of my canvases. <laughs> it's a pet peeve of mine to like not have them painted. Okay, so I'm just gonna go about there, I think for now, and then I wanna add some color. So I'm gonna go get a little bit of blue on my brush. I'm just gonna start putting little lines in like that. Again, I need only a little bit of blue. So at this point, I'm just gonna start going back and forth with my, my canvas is moving a bit. And I'm just going to go back and forth to get this blue right over the white paint that's already there. I don't like this. Okay. It's kind of bothering me that it's moving around so much. Okay. Okay. So we have a nice. I'm going back to get some white to keep this blending going and keep it light. And I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to get like a little, even less of black. It's like a little drop of black. And I'm going to put a little bit of lines like here, like that. And I think at this point, before I do anything else, I'm just going to clean off my brush slightly. If that black is super intense. I'm going to get white back on my brush. And now I'm going to go over using the white to mix and everything's still wet so now we had a little bit of that blue i'm going to get that a little bit of that gray by putting those little lines of black in here okay and i'm going to do the blue again Okay. And I'm going to do the black again, but again, almost like even less than what we had with that blue. And on this side, I want to keep it light. So I want to continue to put more white on this side. Darker shades will take over really easily, so we want to keep getting white on our brush on the areas you want to keep it lighter. Or you want to wipe up your brush with your paper towel. I'm going to do that now as well because, again, for the same purpose, I want to keep it lighter on this side. Okay, so we have a really pretty light. Oh, hi, Irene, and hi, Lynn. Uh, camera's too close, hard to see the top. 
Um, hmm. No, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to do it. I have a very basic setup, unfortunately. So I can't really change it up too much. <clears throat> I've tried doing things in the moment before, and it goes very badly, so. Okay, I'm going to need more white already on my, in terms of my paint. I'm going to do that. Now, I'm going to start to go in, and I want to continue with the white down here. And then I'm going to bring in some yellow. Now, yellow and blue will make green, and I don't want green to happen. So down here already, my blue paint is not wet. It's just the white paint that I have going, and that's what I want, because the white will allow me to throw in a bit of yellow without creating green. I don't really want to do. And I'm just going to keep, again, going back to the white, and then I'll bring that down a little bit more. I a little kiss of yellow. And then I want to put a little bit more yellow down here. But then I'm going to add a little drop of red. Start getting an orangey happening. So I'm going back with the going back with some yellow on top. I'm going to go with yellow. That's oh, right. I got white this time. Just to smooth it out a little bit without making it take over. Okay, so we have a bit of that orange line there. Oh, okay. I get it, Karen. I see. So there is like, because the stuff that's on Facebook is getting in the way. I understand. Normally, I the as I don't usually use a 12 by 16. I usually use an 11 by 14. So I feel like maybe that's why that hasn't um, come up before. Because I think it actually just becomes slightly smaller. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. So now I want it to get more pinkish, and I'm getting to my midpoint. So I'm almost done here. So I'm going to get some more red. And I'm just going to go on top of that white that I put on. And I'm going to get more white on top of that red. And just soften that pink even more. So light and so pretty. I love it. That's so nice. Skies and water are my favorite. I love just how the colors can blend and make me so happy <laughs> it's like my favorite thing my favorite things to paint i do like to paint trees a lot too but sometimes they can be annoying okay and i'm liking like that we've kind of created that same kind of like it's a bit bigger here and it's less there i like that a lot um now there are some clouds and darker spots and that's great and we'll add that in in a little bit we're not going to do that just just yet i'm just going to get a little bit more white A little bit more white there. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I really like that. I think it's really pretty. It's not like as gray, I suppose, as maybe we were, I'm going to do that. Maybe that'll be brighter. Yes, better. <laughs> I was like, something's off here. I'm like, oh yes, my main bright light is not on my painting. That's key. Okay, cool. All right, I think I'm digging that. I'm debating. I think I may want it a little bit more pinky before I move on. I'm hesitant though. I don't want it to be too intense, but and the way I'm using my brush, I'm using it very light and everything's quite wet, like I said. So when I have a bit of paint on it, it does blend quite nicely. Yeah, I did want that. That's better. 
Okay, let's get a little bit more and put it here. More white. Okay, cool. Yes, nice. Good. Okay, so now with my big brush, I'm going to retire it just for a moment. So now I'm going to dip it in the water. This is the first time I've dipped it in water. And I'm just going to just take off some of the excess paint that's there. Um, you can also also leave it in the water too. <clears throat> my containers are a little short for my long handled brushes, so I'm not going to do that because I've had paint or water accidents in the past. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I want to put in a little bit of those like darker <clears throat> clouds. So we have like some little lines of darkness. We already have like some nice streakiness created, so I'm happy with that. If you're happy with the way it is, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Um, but like I said, I do want to add a little bit of it. So, um, okay, so I'm going to get, I'm going to start, I think, which one should I start with? I think I'm going to do a little bit of like that yellowy gray in this. So I'm getting my medium brush and on my palette, I'm going to get yellow and a little bit of white. And then I'm going to add like a dot of black just to get it a little like yellowy grayish. Okay, let's see if that is good. So, and then here I'm just going to put a bit of a Like a line across. Like that. Just kind of give it like a little bit of a cloud happening right there. I'll come back. Okay. And I'm going to do another one. So I don't know if I can show you what I'm doing with my palette. It's kind of, I don't really know. I'm just putting a little bit of white and then I'm going like this in my yellow. So I'm not even mixing so much of that paint color. And then I'm getting like a dab, like, oh, that wasn't even a dab, but like a dab black. And then I'm mixing it in and then I'm noticing that it needs to be a little bit lighter. So I can put a little more white in it. And now I'm going to use that. That's kind of what I did. Okay, I'm going to put like a little, little one here. Okay, and then we'll put another one maybe like here. Okay, um, where else? Maybe there's something like here. I think that's all right. Okay, and then I want to do the same thing, but I need to add like a little drop of red in it so that it becomes orangey okay let's see if that is good i need a little bit more Okay. okay, this might be a little bit bright, but we'll try it and see. Yeah, that's kind of what I, it's a little better. <laughs> so I'm looking just at the inspiration image and just 
kind of trying to copy it a little bit. It's not exactly, obviously. I also want to have some that go off the side of the canvas because that makes more sense if your sky is continuing. Um, I don't see much going behind where our tree is going to live, but I do want to put a little bit. like that I think all right now we should do I guess a little bit it doesn't really even look that much up here but I kind of think we should do that too oh you're in Pickering that's awesome Karen you're my neighbor yay and hi Bonnie Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you find it pretty. I know. I love. I love skies. <laughs> I could just do skies constantly. It's like my favorite thing. How soft and pretty and wonderful. Okay. Um, I wanted. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little bit up in the blue area. I think. I'm apprehensive. I'm gonna do it, and then I might regret it. But that's okay. If that happens, it happens. So I'm just going to get. Um, so I'm just getting a little bit of blue into my white and I'm getting like a drop of black. Ooh, that's too little of a drop. Okay. Like that maybe. Okay. And then I need to bring in more white into it. I'm just kind of going back and forth like that. I think I wanted it a little bit lighter. Okay. Maybe like that. All right. Let's try that and see. And then, uh, let's see, let's put one. Really flat, I think. It's a little bright. I feel like it needs to be a bit more dull. Like more gray. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. I feel like it's a little too intense. Yeah, Karen, I do actually. I'm having um I'm doing one in uh Orono. Um it's about half an hour from about where we are. Um at a farmhouse and winery or a vineyard, sorry. Um that's the one I'm doing actually on the Thursday the 18th. That one that event is sold out, but there's another one that we're going to be scheduling, I think I think it'll be for Tuesday, August 30th, I believe. I'll put the information on the website uh, or on the painting party when um, I have it. Um, and we're also doing like a kids event on the Sunday prior on the 28th, which I'm really excited about. Um, and it's like a pairing with like wine. And I think there's like a little like food box and whatnot. So that should be quite fun. I have the painting all ready to go for it. Sorry, I stopped. I started talking about that and I, I stopped talking about what I'm doing. So let <laughs> me. <laughs> Let me go back here. So I'm just getting a little bit of white. I just want to like clean up the edges slightly and I, I'm not sure if I really like how dark this is to be honest. For the actual like in-person paint party, like for these ones I do live here, I often, especially when they're paint from photos, I've never painted this yet. Like this is my first time recreating this particular photo. So when we do our live paint parties, I, I have already practiced. <laughs> <laughs> more so it's definitely a little bit more structured in terms of that I don't I don't uh 
go off on my own as I do here. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't know. You know what? I might have to just like leave that and stop touching it for a little bit. I feel like I'm not I'm not digging that darkness. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. You know what? We're gonna like move on from there for now. I know I'm gonna have to touch it again. So but that's okay. All right. Let's get some of the background going. So we have like a bunch of like, and it's pretty much like in black. So I think I am going to use black for this. Um, or maybe like a really dark blue, maybe. Mm, I think I'm just going to do black, to be honest. And then we're going to have a nice line of a bunch of bushy trees happening. I think we're going to still use this medium sized brush. I'm definitely going to need more black paint than what I have on my palette at the moment. So I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. So just, again, you can kind of look at the, um, insp the image and, and mimic that, or you can do your own thing. Um, so I'm going to just start by... using this brush and creating like little bumps kind of look like roundish treetops. I'm just going to create the line I want or yeah, the squiggly line I want. <laughs> to kind of give that feeling of different trees and whatnot. And I'm making mine fairly solid. It doesn't have to be because sometimes you can see between like little tree branches because the trees are so far away. I, I do want it to be pretty solid. Now I'm noticing, so we have our big tree trunk here, and I'm not seeing the same trees behind there because I think there's like a house that's there. However, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to try to get all the detail like that. So I am just going to bring this all the way across. Okay, so I have my, my line across. I'm going to bring this a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm also going to bring it to the side. I'm going to bring this a little bit low. -er. I'm going to come down slightly. Now that I have my line, I'm feeling more like, ooh, good. <laughs> Once I have that guy, ooh, yes, and then I like to drop my paintbrush sometimes. <laughs> I really enjoy the long handle paintbrushes, but yet it's like a love-hate relationship. I feel like I'm more inclined to like trip over them in a way. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna make it a little bit lower. Doesn't have to be like the same all the way across. Um, let's just bring it down a little bit. Mm, let me just see. I'm seeing that I have this a little bit lower on this side. Okay. I'm 
I am just like, I guess like smushing it down. I'm not really worried too much about that. I feel like if I do it that way, it will kind of still look tree-like. Although honestly, when it all dries, it's just going to be black. So <laughs> it's not really going to have any texture to it. But it works out nicely there. Oh, thanks for the stars, Karen. I appreciate it. Um, Mary's asking, how many years have I been painting? Um, so I've been doing these live paint parties <clears throat> um, for just over two years. Um, and I started painting when I was in high school. So that would be over 20 years ago, like maybe 25 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, However, um, I, it was only in the last two years when I started doing this that I really got back into it fully. Um, I never really made time to do it. I, did, I would do it every once in a while. Um, but this isn't my job. This is, this, is what, this is a side thing, which I would love for it to become my job. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I do this just... Honestly, I do it mostly now because of, of these live paint parties. Because <laughs> I got into it because a few of my friends had reached out. Uh, it was around the pandemic and they had said that they were interested. And so I had did it. And then a few people that they knew wanted to do it too. And that's how it all kind of rolled into it and got me back into it. Okay, so next up, I think I want to put in, no, stay here. Um, I want to put in some water. I know there's like, there's obviously some lights and some houses that are going on back here, but I'm not going to worry about that right yet. Uh, I want to put in whatever water is going to live in this little corner of our painting before I try to structure in this house that lives here. I'm going to do that first. And then we have a bunch of like houses back here, but again, I'm not going to stress about doing them all individually. I think what the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to make a bit of a lighter color because these are kind of like almost like a gray blue essentially and we see their windows so I want to have that kind of feeling so we're going to have like a different color and we're going to have the windows happening that's my idea um, and we'll do that I think after I think we're going to do the water first and then we're going to kind of put these background houses in here that's I think what we're gonna do okay yes now let's do that water this water is like a really weird color like it's almost like a white color I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that in here I think I almost want it to mimic what's happening um, in the sky so I'm gonna start with putting white paint first here there's like a lot of green going on here I don't know I kind of would prefer to put more water I think but uh, white Let's go and put in a little bit of blue. I'm changing up the color a bit here. It's similar to what I did with the sky. Well, I'm using a smaller, like a more medium sized brush to do that. I'm cleaning it on my paper towel a bit too. Um, hmm. How do I want this to be? Oh, thank you. Hmm. I think I need it. I do need a little bit of that gray to come into play, don't I? That blue is a little too uh, 
too intense. I'm just getting a little bit of gray in here. Okay, now there is a little bit of a shadow that's living from this that's in this water here. So I'm going to get black paint and start to put a bit of a shadow. Everything's really wet, so I have to keep grabbing some more paint. So it dissipates quite fast. I'm just going to put the black there. Okay, I think we're good with that for now. Just cleaning off my brush and I'm just gonna get some more white paint and I'm gonna just put a little bit more, I feel like I went a little bit too light, so I'm just gonna, or a little bit too um, bright. So I just wanna put a little bit of white and just still down the, this blue paint I have from Artist, the Artist Laughlin is, I love it because it's super intense, but it's also a little too intense sometimes. So it's very bright. I just want to dull it down a bit with the white paint. Okay, I think, I think I'm good with that for now. It's still brighter than in the um, photo but it's a little duller than it was before, so I, I, I'm digging that more. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Now, we have that little block of houses that live kind of back here. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do them. Part of me wants to go really detailed and then part of me does not want to at all. I'm going to try to get my impressionistic style in place and get that going. So I'd rather do that. I don't really want it to be I don't want to stress about it being so hyper realistic. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to mix kind of like a, again, like a blue gray. To start and then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. Okay, let's we'll see how this is going to happen. All right, I'm just gonna pop color in this area of where I want these houses to live. And so, I'm gonna try to use my brush to give them some angles. Make it look more villagey. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Um, maybe we'll go like this. this side of my brush a bit. Base down. I'm just going to do a patch of this blue gray. Okay, and then I 
think what we'll do from there is I'm just going to get a little darker on my brush. And I'm going to put like a line as if it's like a roof. A line there. Start kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work out. We'll see. get the impression of a roof. Okay. I think I need my thinner brush because this one's going to get um okay let's see. And then I think one other Okay, and then we'll do, I don't even know. Ah. Just trying to do like little it's black. Everything's still wet, so it's blending into the color. I'm just making like little are they like parallelograms? Is that what they are? Um, and we'll see. We'll see if this turns out to kind of feel like houses, or if it's gonna look horrible. You can watch me, and if it doesn't turn out good, then you don't have to do it. some lighter color as well. Some white. I thought that white's a little too bright. I'll dull that a little. So it kind of looks like things are happening there, which is good. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that. Um, no, I'm not gonna leave that yet. I'm gonna put in little yellow windows, like lights for windows. So I'm gonna just go just put little Feelings of little in some of my homes that I've created.
Okay. Little window light things happening. <laughs> the almost alive. Okay. So <clears throat> Next on the docket, I think I want to build my bigger house that lives here. We can kind of see it a little bit more prominently. Um, yeah, let's try and do that. All right, so I'm going to do the same kind of color, I think. I want it to be kind of a blue gray. Okay, and then um, let's build a roof. I'll come across like that. Um, comes down. I have to fix up that corner there, but that's all right. Okay. And there's some trees blocking it on the one side, so that's going to work in our favor. Okay. And then we want it a little bit darker. That's going to be a little bit too much darker. Okay, it's living there. Um, and I want to fix up the back actually before I move on to that property. I'm going to bring this a little bit lower just to Not have to worry so much about that part there. Okay. And then I want to. Okay, what else are we going to do here? I need to go to my finer brush and we're going to add a little bit here. So I'm going to go with white. Okay. And I want to. A little details on the house. Just putting a little bit of white like lines on here. I don't know. We'll see how it ends up going. The way I'm looking at it, it's a little bit lighter in the front of the house. I'm just adding it with white, a little bit of white. And then it's a little darker back here. That's not dark enough.
Okay. And then we need it a little darker in this little alcove here. Like that maybe. Okay, and we need it a little darker just under where the roof is. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, and then it looks like there's like another kind of like level house there, more or less. Um, and then In black, I'm just going to kind of outline some of the windows that I can see. Just to give it a little bit of a lot of windows on this place. And then it's a little darker down here too, so I'm just going to put that in. A little darker there. And then we want to get some yellow, yellowy white, I think, actually. And I'm just going to put Lights there, and then this window has a little bit of lights happening there, a little bit there. Not all the, not everywhere has it, but that's okay. Let's put a little bit. Okay. A little too detailed. It's not my forte. I don't really like doing these ones too much, but I do want to add a little bit more into it just to make it look like brick or something. Put a little bit of like lines on here. Okay, what else? Let me see. Okay, looks more like a creepy cabin versus a <laughs> okay. So, what are we going to do next? Um I guess I also missed there's actually a little lip that kind of comes out here too. I don't know if I want to do that. Nah, forget it. All right, let's put in some <clears throat> of the trees that are living around. That's very, very dark green, almost black as well. I think I'm going to use my medium brush for it. And then I might go into my 
finer brush depending on how it goes. So I'm just going to mix some yellow and blue together just to get green. And then I'm going to add black to it, like a little drop of black. If you have a premixed screen, you can use that and then add black to it, or you can just um, use the color if you're down with it. I think this might still be a little bit too light. So here we have, there is like a, it's just going to kind of come over some of these places. Okay, and then I'm going to put another line just above here. Okay. Okay, and then <clears throat> Okay, and then we're going to put some greenery in front of the cabin as well. I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to hide this a little bit as if there's like more trees in front of it as well. I'm going to do it instead. Okay, and then there is like a bit of like rock here. I'm just going to bring that this gray, dark gray down. All right, what's next? Let's see. All right, um, we want to do, I think, some a bit of a brighter green. I'm going to get my premixed green that I have. Use a little bit of that. Okay. I'm just create a bit of a platform. Maybe that's where like the bright green. Green is bright, but it is also quite thin. Do some yellow. Ooh. 
Okay. And I think I want to start coming out and putting in some of the other green patches and all that stuff happening. So, yeah, let's start. Let me just, actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm going to mess up the line. I don't want it to be flat. I want it to be a little messy. That's better. Okay. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to get some little bushies happening. It's a little bit darker. Okay. And then I'll make some that are a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to keep building it forward and changing up the different values of the green that I'm using. Okay, so the green coming down from there. Okay, what else are we doing here? Um, I want green to come this way too. I might as well pop that in as well. Play with that as we do this. So put the fence in, but we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, I need more black. A little drop of black. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay. 
let's just get some pattern and then we'll do some more details like putting those little yellowy dots and some other I don't know if I like that actually. Not. Okay. Um do you want to put in some of that green in here too? Okay, I need to replenish a bit. Where are we at? 705, not too bad. Good, I'm glad you like it. Yes, I do, Katie. Lots and lots of paint parties. Lots of free ones and personal ones. If you're looking for doing for doing your own event in like the Toronto area we could do it live or I could do it on zoom or maybe not zoom I don't I think I cancel my subscription to zoom actually but <laughs> I have to take a look and see <laughs> but we can figure out something if we want to do it okay I'm going to go in here I want to get that bright green happening let's pop in this color and then Not putting in the fence just yet. But the fence is going to go like that. It's going to come around this way. And so I want it to be pretty green in here. Essentially is what I want. And then we'll put in some values. Make it a little bit darker in some spots than others. Okay. And then I need to make it a little darker. I'm not sure if that's going to work out the same way or if I'm, going to, I'm probably going to touch that up a little bit more. I don't know. These patches are strange. I just want to get some background before. I don't want my um, fence to end up being put in and then I have some weird patches that I don't like. So I want to make sure that there's like at least a base of color happening here. That fence is going to live kind of here. Okay, so if the fence is like here, and we're going to continue doing some more greenery and the idea of rocks. Okay, and then um, let's see how we're going to do these rocky vibes here. Let's see how we're we doing this. I think we're just going to kind of do similar, but make it a little bit harder. Okay. I'm just going with like that gray and then I'm going on top with some white 
just to make this a couple different color variations and then make it feel more like rock. I'm not so sure about this. We'll see. I'm really trying to embrace the, uh, just go with the flow and see how it is. So we'll see how this ends up going. Okay, so. No. I'm going to get my thinner brush and then I'm just going to put in some with black. Just carve out some shapes. Like following kind of what I have already did with the other paintbrush. Maybe more black already. Of course, of course, so much. Okay, and then I think on, I'm just going to put a little bit of black on some of them, some of the shapes. Make it a little bit like a bit of shadow on some. Okay. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to get some white and put in some the same, but like a little bit of, oh, don't go away. A bit of a highlight on some of them.
Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking as much. I'm just doing this repetitive action, so it ends up. Okay. You can keep kind of touching and playing and doing all that with those quite a bit. So I'm going to stop right now, though. <laughs> and then we'll go back and put some more green on top. Okay. Let's do that with the green now. Similar to what I did before, I'm just going to go different. Get some darker green, get some black, get some like yellow, and just keep going with the coloring here just to get a background. And then we'll add some more detail on top if I want the dries. I do want it to feel like there's a lot going on. A lot of colors and a lot of stuff happening. Okay, cute, good, beautiful, wonderful. Okay, um, do we want to put the tree trunk in first? I think so. Hmm. I think I'm going to make the tree trunk almost the edge of this and then it will come out. That's what I think I'm going to do with this, with this trunk. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it doesn't really live here, does it? No, it lives more here. Like the fence is going to come here and the tree lives behind the rocks. I think I'm still going to make the tree thicker. I don't know. There's like a post that's living here. I could still put that post in. I don't know. Mm, no, I think I'm just going to do the actual trunk. Okay. Um, that kind of is like that same grayish, bluish color. And I don't know if I'm going to do it that way. I think we will. Start with one color and then we'll change it up as we go. Okay, so this tree is going to be going to come out here and it's going to come down there. Okay, so that's how I always do it. I kind of like play with like whatever the middle is. And then we'll thicken it up as we go.
Just getting the outside of the canvas too. Okay. Let's bring it upwards. Okay, I think that's all right. And here we still have to touch up, but that's okay. And I want this to go off of here. I'll just continuous. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm going to switch to my thinner brush because I want to do a little bit of detailing on the tree, I think. Mm, I don't know. No, I'm going to go a little thicker, but okay. Um, let's go with black first. I'm just going to put some black down the side. I'm going to use a little bit of water just to blend it in a bit. Is that even showing up? It's too shiny, I can't really see it yet. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then I want to get a little bit more white. I'm going to add some white on this side same kind of idea i'm just blending that in and then up make it a little bit lighter on the one side a little bit darker just to give it like the sun's kind of hitting it on this side and I want it to feel a little streaky so that it has almost like the, not the vininess, like the texture of a tree. Oops, I'm going to go back in with maybe some black. I'm going to add a few little streaks just to give it that, make it feel like you can see all the texture of the wood. I think that is good. I really dislike that brush, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, and then from that, we're going to put some branches coming out. Um, now there's like, there's like a tree back here that isn't attached to this one, living on its own. I don't know if we want to put that in or not. Not sure. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to write yet. So I'm going to put more black on my palette. Okay. And then I want to start doing some of these branches. So we have one that kind of comes... like that be thicker near there and it's gonna get thinner as it goes away Mm 
Okay. We're going to have like other things happening too. But I just want to put in some of the branches right now. I don't want that just to go off of the page. So I'll do that. Move another one. Okay. And then there's just like some little branches that kind of come off. <laughs> what other branches can we see? I see one kind of like this too. Ooh. Okay. Have some other branches. And then now we need to get some of the leaves from the tree happening. So I'm going to use black, I think start and then i'm just going to oh, i don't think i have enough paint on there let's try it so i'm just gonna start to dab with this brush to get this texture of these leaves and i'm just going to do black first and then I might put in um, a little bit of green just to see it a little bit better. There's some back here. I still want to be able to see my background. I do not want to cover it all in this um, foliage. Some might come in front of the tree as well, and that makes sense. I'm putting some in front of it too. 
There are some branches that we don't see sticking out. And we won't see the branch, we'll just see the foliage. Okay. So I think I like that guy. I think he's looking all right. I don't know why the tree's a male. I'm not sure. <laughs> that, I think that is good. Okay, and I think I'm going to go back now and I want to add some of those branches that are up here. I need more black already again because I'm using a lot of it right now. Okay, and And then we're going to bring a branch down, and it doesn't have to be straight, but I do want it to be thinner on the, at the end than it is at the, where the branch starts. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good with those. And then now I'm going to go and put in some branches like we did on the other side. Some branches, sorry. Some foliage. I'm just going to lightly dab it. Again, I don't want it to be full up black, but I do want it to be like a little bit of that. That's good. That looks good so far. Oh, thanks everyone. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay. So I think at this point, I don't know if I'm going to go in and put, I think I might just keep it with the black. I, I kind of like that. I don't want to add more color to it. I'm not sure. I'll leave it for now. Um, I think what I want to do now is I want to, oh, I'm scared. I kind of want to put in the, the fence, but I'm a little apprehensive about it. Yeah. But I think that's what we're going to do. 
we are going to put in the fence. Let's see how that goes. And then we have to add some more details to our grass because we have our rocks looking pretty good. So we need to put in some little more details to make our grass pop a little bit more. Okay, so let's think about this fence here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in. I need more white because I'm almost out of white on here. Perfection. What time do that? 737. Not too bad. It's been about an hour and 40 minutes so far. Not too shabby. So thank you for sticking with me, those who have watched from the beginning. I appreciate it. So I'm going to use white paint to, to like start, and then we'll see what else we want to do here. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to put in some, oh, I don't know. I think I want to put in the, this line the top of my fence. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, we have one line here, which is like that fence kind of goes to here. And then we have another, you know what, maybe I'm, I'm going to do the posts first, actually. Yes. And then it goes like there. And then another one like here and then another one like here and then there's another one like there okay So we'll connect those with a little line. And we'll connect these with a line. Okay, and then we'll do the same at the bottom. Okay, and then Fences have like a triangle kind of. Okay. And then there's more lines on here. Oh, I think this has. I think we have I'm just putting in all the lines in first and then we can decide how we want to make them stand out. Okay. okay, let's do the fence in the background in the same way. I think I want it to be a little bit darker though. 
Let's see. Okay. Um, I guess I don't even know. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put this line around. like that and then we have like posts too which are small there's a lot because they're further away and as they come closer they get a little further away from each other and they get a bit longer like something like that and we can see a little bit of the other pose, other lines. You can't see it as much from the back there. And then we're going to have some lines. Oh, I did the wrong way. Whoopsie. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's not good. So it's smaller and smaller and it goes around. Okay, cool. Okay, so now um, I want to put in a little bit more of like greenery, shrubbery, but dark back here to cover the base of this fence Okay. And it gets just lighter. And I'm just using a little bit of yellow just to blend in to the lighter areas here. Doki. All right, and then I want to get that thin brush again. And um, we have to put in some shadows on this fence that we have. So this post here has a shadow. Oof. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and all the way down like that. Okay, and then I'm seeing that this line here also has one that goes all the way down. That. Okay. And then I'm seeing that, oh, there's a post in the middle too. I missed that one, didn't I? Straight up missed that one. 
There is one that comes straight down here. Okay, cool. So then that one as well has a darker side. All right, cool. Um, and then I think as well, I'm seeing a little bit of here too on this one because there, this like pattern thing is all on top of the lines that are on the other side there. And then this one has it's slightly darker, this line on top, just on the bottom. Like that. Um, and I would say it's similar with these, but these are behind. The others, so. It's not going to go straight across, it's going to just have it. Just behind. Like that. And definitely under here, we have to have a little bit as well. Okay. And then, oh, that doesn't look so good. I to put some coverage, I think, in front of here too, but that's okay. We'll do that in a moment. Okay, and then I need, I think, a little bit of white as well. And this white is going to go along the edge to do a bit of a highlight on that side. Like that. And also on top. Okay, and then this here. Okay, I think that's good. In the back, we have a little bit as well. We have a little bit of white on the top. And then a little bit there. Just going to do a little touching. All right, fence looks all right. Um, okay, so I'm noticing a few little things. I'm just gonna do a touch up in here. to make this seamless there. Okay, that's better. Okay, better. Okay, so now we can do some little touches in the grass just to make it pop a little bit more. 
Um, I think I want to play a little bit back here as well. So what I want to do is I want to put a few little like lines. And I want to do a few little trees. using black. I think that would look good. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit more, a little And I'll load some other green. A few little more dotty spotties in a different green. Okay, and then I want to put some details in the front here. So we have like these little yellow like little, little yellow dabs, little like flowering things happening in the grass. I'm just following where I have my lighter shades a bit. Okay, little, little bits. Okay, and then I want to do a few. I don't want little wisps come out and play a little bit. So we can see like individual little wisps of grass closer to the front here.
Okay. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going in and just putting little strokes, streaks. Just to make it look a little bit more detailed. A little bit more green. Green, green, green. Green giant. Okay. Green, 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 green. I feel like my... Okay, I think I'm almost done. But I think you can kind of keep going and going with all of this little dots and stripes and all this detail. A little bit in here too.
think that that's okay. I don't want to do that too much in there. Okay. Oh, my foot's asleep. <laughs> All right. I think, I think I'm going to call this one done. I think, I think. Don't know if I want to do a little bit more. I kind of want to touch up here a little bit before I say it's done. I want to just like touch up this line. I'll bring it down a little bit. Yeah, I like that a bit. Okay. Then I think what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of like little white dots, almost like there's some little lights back here. Okay. I think now I am done. I think, I think. Oh, sorry, I missed some of the comments. I'm so sorry. Um, what color is the shadows? Is it black? The shadows 17 minutes ago. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know which ones. Maybe it was this. So yes, the shadows I did was black and then I did the highlights in white for the fence here. And thank you so much, Karen. I really appreciate it. So she loves the sky. Thank you, everyone. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. I'm going to go back here so you can see me for a moment or two. All right. So thank you very much for joining me in uh, our paint night tonight. Um, if you've painted along with me, please take a picture of your painting and share it. I'm going to take a picture and post it um, in the um, painting party uh, main page, essentially. Um, so I'd love to see what you have painted. Um, um, I, I enjoy this one. And you know what? I feel like this is still a little bit, I kind of want to define this a little bit more, maybe. Mm. I'll leave that for now, but that cut part's kind of bothering me a bit. But um, overall, I really enjoy this. I hope you all had a great time. Um, and I will see you all next week for our another paint party. Again, if you enjoy the paint parties, you can feel free to leave me a tip. There's a link there. You can check out my paint party website if you would like to um, have me host for your friends or family or work or whatever. Um, and um, there's also all of my painting videos um, are all up on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page under the videos tab. So you can go ahead and watch any video you like. If you do paint along to any of my other ones, please take a picture of what you paint and share it because I love to see it. Um, and that's about it for now. So I hope you all have a fantastic evening and a great week and I will see you next week. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Take care.